All right, to all the guys that are following my build, it's actually impressive how many there are of you, but thanks for the following. Uh, I've been playing around a lot, kind of behind the scenes. Um, not a whole lot going on at the moment. Uh, kind of been busy with uh, school. I'm in for um, machining right now. And that and work keep me pretty, pretty busy, but we're back at her this week because it is reading week and I somehow talked the boss from where I work into giving me the week off. So as you can see, I pulled the old CV out and it's a cop car from a local town. Well, townish city thing. Um, I don't know if I can turn this around with when it's recording. I don't think so. But basically, I'm pulling all the wiring out of this sucker right now. Um, I made another video earlier. I don't know if I'm going to post it or not yet. But I also uh, fixed up a lot of the flooring in the 63. Um, it's going pretty good. Not the fastest in the world, but you can only pick three. Cheap, fast, or quality. It's what I've been told my entire life at least. Um, we're going to go through a little bit of what I've been doing. So I have the interceptor which kind of makes it a gong show. Um, can't really get too close in here because I'm low on battery and can't turn my flash on. But there's about three times as many wires in this thing because it's the CV police interceptor. It's sitting on the 63 um, differential, that's why it's sitting all funny. But I'm currently halfway through tearing the dash apart, trying to get the wiring harness out of this sucker so I can throw it in the, C in the uh, 63 this week and get her started. Excuse me. Uh, the crown, sorry, the 63 itself. I've got the floor put in. Not the prettiest thing in the world, needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but I'm currently chasing more rust. Uh, it actually ends up here, so fix that spot and I should be done with that. Um, on the other side, excuse the mess in the box, it's all the spare parts and whatever else. I step over top of the calf cages. On the other side, Rust is a little bit more serious. Went right to Dennis Carpenter, bought one of these suckers. 125 bucks up here to get it up here, which is uh, pretty expensive for a little piece of sheet metal, but I guess if you need it, you need it. Um, I'm gonna cut all this out yet tonight, I think, I hope, and get down to that. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to chase the rust. I don't think, I don't think this side's as bad as the other one, so I might only have to chase it like up to here because I'll have, have to replace the floor pan. Hopefully it's not bad and hopefully it can weld her solid. Once that's done, we're gonna run a wire brush over and paint her or uh, if I don't get around to that, I'll start sticking some wiring harness in here and mocking it all up, see if I can get it to start. The goal for the week is to get it to at least fire. It's not gonna go anywhere because the drive shaft still needs to be lengthened. But the goal for the week is to hear a start. So again, like always, like, comment, subscribe. I'd like to hear from you. It never hurts to have a little bit of feedback. Thanks for following guys.